we are at the Shell Echo Marathon in the Cabo Center in Detroit, Michigan, and we're going to try uh, the Shell Echo Marathon uh, urban concept car with uh, Ian, who is getting in here right now. This car is not in the competition, it's just like for a show what a uh, vehicle with alternative uh, fuel uh, options can do, alternative power train can do. We got probably more safety than we need, but uh, safety is number one here at, at Shell, so we have like helmet, the whole fire suit and everything. Car. This is an urban concept class powered by a 125cc Yamaha engine. Okay, but well, this is not in competition, obviously. <laughs> no, this is just our media car so we can show people what it's really like okay. on the track. So, um, what are the, the components of this gas engine you said? This is a gasoline engine, a 125cc Yamaha engine taken up from a scooter with a constant variable transmission and uh, it does about 500 miles to the gallon. 500? Yeah, 500. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty good, but the record is near a thousand. Yeah, you wouldn't win. So you wouldn't no. have a chance. Right? <laughs> the car is built for two people to sit in. Yeah. So the competition uh, vehicles, they're only single seaters. That's pretty amazing. So, um, I mean, this is an example of what uh, I guess these kids could like develop for the further Absolutely. down into the production line. I mean, obviously, yeah. this is like a two seater, maybe. If you don't get 500, if you could get 200, it would be pretty good if it was a fantastic. production car, right? It'd be fantastic if we could get that. But the, the kids are, are using new materials and new ways of, of uh, getting better. What the students do to get their maximum efficiency. They start the engine, accelerate away, and then kill the engine and coast for as far as they can. Oh, I see. So the engine design plays a big part. So that kind of technology is already into some production cars with the auto stop uh, system, right? But yeah. then in that case, the car stops and then the engine goes down. Exactly. Okay. And uh, the, the build of the car makes a huge difference. We're using ceramic bearings which have a very low long resistance so we can travel a lot further without using any fuel. Oh I see, so the aerodynamics and everything goes into yeah, place. Aerodynamics, transmission, bearings. Some cities, like in Miami where I live, that's, that's, uh, the, the average speed is lower than that because of the traffic, so this will work pretty well. Yeah, but well, if they can coast like this in traffic, they would use no fuel. Exactly, that's amazing. So, so yeah. we, we, we've done a lap and we've only started the engine once. Yeah, wow. For a very short period and we coast for over half the lap. 
I guess this is something that in the future people are gonna have to get used to, huh? Yeah. Like this uh, kind of systems where you just like go and like use the energy just when you need it. for the weekend and hopefully we'll get some good figures but the car was built in Taiwan by a designer who used to design the race cars in, uh, in America oh okay and, and Shell commissioned him to uh, come up with the design and Shell specified a few features that it should have and uh, this is what he's, he's come up with Looks pretty nice actually outside. Yeah, it's like really cool. It's really nice looking car. So in, inside the, the hall here, the vehicle has a speed limiter. So we turn the speed right down so, so people Oh can okay, but it can go much faster. We'll go much faster, yeah. you know. We'll do 35, 40 miles per hour. So all these controls are pretty much uh, close to a regular car, huh? Yeah, well, we've got a hazards, we've got a heater, wipers, wipers uh, headlights. That's amazing. Thank you very much for, for the time and the ride and uh, a good experience to see what, what you can do when you build something really yeah. efficient and yeah. smart. And this is what the competitors are doing. The kids are great. They're so inspirational. They do. The ideas that they're coming up with. It's, uh, they're, it, they're very amazing because uh, they're so young. I know. And that's, that's even more <laughs> impressive. Some kids are like <laughs> 16, 17 years old and tell me like, technical yeah. stuff that you will you will never think that they will be able to do right some of the cars they're almost well they are as good as this yeah you know some of the designs they've spent a lot of time with a lot less resources with a lot less resources yeah it's yeah. time uh, and and thinking outside the box sometimes yeah and uh, kids are great for doing that so it's, it's amazing inspirational for everybody thank you well thank you very much for your time again and uh we're gonna enjoy the competition here thank you